Well, Donnie Simmons also had an integral role in the uh, defensive touchdown this past week. Donnie, you forced the fumble. Take me through the play and how it came together. Well, it was a screen, and I saw it from afar because the tackle kind of released quick. And then when Wiggum had the tackle, I was like, you know, I got him. And then that's when I tackled him, punched it out. And then I saw the ball roll, and I saw Cordy come out of nowhere and then took it back to the crib. So it was, it was a good play. I mean, you know, defensively in general, you know, the scheme fit right. So it was, it was exciting. It really was. You've now scored one this year and helped set up another. That's got to be pretty cool. <laughs> no, it is. It is. Um, I'm just trying to do the best I can to help the defense out, you know, and definitely um, support, put production on the field. And, um, yeah, man, just, just help out my team. One of the few veterans on what is a very young defense. Mm -hmm. How do you view your role in that context of getting everybody sort of ready to go and playing together? Um, well, definitely to do my job right, to kind of lead by example, set the standard on what it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, like I said, just lead by example, have the young guys kind of follow, you know, the, the older veterans on the team as well, you know, kind of um, lead the pack in a way. So that's that's my job because I'm not really a vocal guy. I'm really more of, you know, I, I set the standard standard on, you know, how my play is. So that's kind of leading, leading my role. And Coach Bull has sort of described the young guys as, yeah, they're talented guys. He mm -hmm. thinks they're going to get it. Yes. <laughs> but it's maybe the game play and the reaction to an offense that's the next step. Is that what you see still has to come for these young defenders? Well, they have a lot to learn, obviously, but they're they're progressing at such a rapid rate, you know. Um, I, it's, it's remarkable to see the plays that they're making at such a young age and to understand the defense quickly mm -hmm. and to get everything quickly on the football field. So I, f I have no worries about them at all. I know that they're going to be, you know, great players um, years to come, especially like the young, young guys. And, and, you know, the young guys that are coming in as freshmen, true freshmen, mm -hmm. and the sophomores, especially like a guy like Cordy. I mean, he's progressing every single game. And um, as long as they keep on, you know, going on that upright path, we should be good, especially for them. One of those young guys getting more and more reps at your spot at DN is Kadir Shepard here mm -hmm. in the last few games. And yeah, he caught the interception. He gets yeah. the interception. Yeah. How does a play like that come together for him? And where's his growth been in the last month? I mean, just giving him the experience on the field, it just helps him out. So with the years to come, he knows how it feels like he's getting his feet wet right now. And he's, you know, producing plays, as you said, with the interception. It's great to see him out there because, you know, he's coming from Iona. So that's local to where, you know, I went to step in as local, you know, my areas. To, so to see him doing well is, is great. It's great to see. The guy you're taking under your wing at uh, that spot? No, definitely, definitely. You know, I give him different tips, him and Amir, um, Jake Picker, the other DNs that we have. You know, like I said, it's just setting that standard for the young guys so they know what to do years to come, especially when, you know, me and the older veterans leave. They have something to look forward to. All right, we've talked about big plays the defense has made, and those mm -hmm. certainly haven't been in short supply this year. But we have seen you guys give up some long drives, including mm -hmm. this last game. Uh, what do you think it is that's allowing teams to be able to string together the longer drives against you right now? Well, you know, there's different things that we have to fix on defense. And I feel like at, at those particular times, we have maybe, you know, gap integrity that's a lack of. But I feel like, you know, we kind of – the great thing is that we do learn from those mistakes. It's just, you know, we have to continue to be progressive throughout the season. That's about it. All right, we have to know. Mm -hmm. Air Dungey, what, what was your view? Oh, what did you see? And, and, and what's the reaction yeah. been like? First of all, I was like, this is going to be on SportsCenter. Top 10, easy. Um, but when I saw it, <laughs> it, it was just, you didn't expect it. You know, and when he did it, I'm like, whoa. And I looked at the sign, I looked at everybody. It was just a, a crazy play, you know, and I'm just glad he was able to get in the touchdown as well. So you got to get into the end zone. All right, you, you guys giving a nickname to that play, or what, what have you been talking about with it? Nah, I mean, it's just one of those plays where it's like, yo, if, if you got a play that you can make something like that, make something happen, then, you know, you, you do it. And that's that's it, man. It was it was one of those things where it was like, it was great at the moment, you know, so that, I feel like that. But that's definitely something to remember. All right, lastly, let's wrap up with a couple things on Pittsburgh. Uh, their star on offense right now is Tyler Boyd, their wide receiver. Mm -hmm. What kind of challenge does he present to your defense? Well, for us, I mean, I kind of said this, I kind of say this with all game plans. I mean, we're going to game plan him like any other player, any other team that we have to, you know, focus on. We're not going to treat him any differently. We're just going to, you know, try to lock him up and, you know, focus on the other areas of their offense as well. You know, it's not just him. It's the whole offense we got to look forward to, so. And lastly, it is a homecoming weekend, Orange mm -hmm. Central. You've been through this before. Yes. Uh, what does that do for you guys? No, it gets us hype. You know, it's, it's for us to some, you know, something to play for. We have a lot of people coming, and it's, it's going to be a great atmosphere. The the dome is going to be, you know, loud as ever. So this is something to look forward to. All right, Donnie. Good luck this weekend. Mm -hmm. Thank you.